clean. It's way clean. History. History in the first ever Ford F-250 to run off a plastic waste right here in Chicago, Illinois, baby. You heard it? Yeah. Here, I have plastic diesel. Yeah. A diesel alternative I made from plastic waste. And what we have beside me here, we have two Ford 1997 F250 Power Stroke 7 threes. And we're going to put my plastic diesel, diesel alternative made from plastic waste, inside of the first ever F-250 to run off of plastic waste in Chicago, baby! Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison to see how real diesel does versus my diesel inside of this truck. So, Tony, let's go ahead and get this diesel in here. We're turning plastic into fuel and putting it inside of an F-250 diesel 1997. Live stream two. We got to get the live stream two. I got it. Tell us what he's doing. All right. All right. Plastic diesel is inside of the pail, and we're going to hook up the fuel hose to it. And just before this, he ran the diesel or the truck out of diesel. Yes, correct? it's out of diesel. And, and this is a reminder to everybody here, everybody watching. If you want to support my mission to take sunlight and turn sunlight into fuel made from plastic waste, you can go to my GoFundMe here. We're looking to raise sixteen thousand dollars to get all the solar equipment I need. Huge thank you to Dan. He's a solar engineer that's donating fifteen solar panels right here in Chicago to the cause. Huge thank you to Damien. He helped connect, connect me with everybody out here, help me give me a place to stay. Huge thank you to Tony for the truck, uh, U Ulysses for his truck. Huge thank you to Shannon for the space. And huge thank you to all of you and all Chicago and Illinois for making it out today. Everybody give yourself a round. Yeah. Yeah. All right, is everybody ready? Yeah. yeah. Hey, look, we, I gotta ask, do you guys think it's gonna run? Yeah. 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 We know it's gonna run. Hit it! Oh. You gotta give him the system first. Yeah. Give it a minute. You gotta give him the end. Let's go, here we go.
buried that up for weight, man. We win this history today. Plastic fuel. So this is how much plastic diesel's left after we ran the truck. So I'd say about what? 200, 300 mil right there. Ran the truck. Great look. It looks just like off-road diesel. There we go. Made history today in Chicago. I kind of already was in that mindset before that. I was in 10th grade environmental science class. And then we saw a video about the turtle that had a straw on its nose because of the plastic waste. And I'm like, well, at least I'm not. At least I recycle. Then I did more research and figured out recycling, only about 1% of plastic is recycled. And I'm like, oh shoot, I don't want to contribute to that. So how can I myself deal with the plastic waste? So then I found out it's made of fuel. And I'm like, why is it just common knowledge? So I built my first few machines, it worked, it was real. I confirmed it myself, and then after that, it became a point of, let me share it with the world. Because most people don't even know what plastic is made of it. to turn it back into fuels that, as we see, run great in it. Even beyond things like at like even the buildings, the outskirts of the, the center of the city, all the beautiful buildings, the masonry work, the woodwork, it's, it's gorgeous, all the gorgeous architecture. So I've been loving it. I've been loving the love out here and support the community out here. So it's been amazing. I'm going to continue to do fuel tests and different types of engines. Once I do every engine, then it's going to prove that it's viability in engines. And then hopefully we can get to a point where it can either be sold or it can be supplemented in the energy grid. It can make the electrical cost cheaper for everybody, for example. A lot of our electricity electricity comes from big diesel generators and natural gas generators so maybe we can supplement into the electrical grid or maybe I can sell it at a very low price because I'm getting it off of sunlight it's the only cost 